welcome back to Katie Res, and today we're gonna do this big old snail. Uh, me and my husband co collaborated on this, and we're gonna do the shell, an iridescent color, and we're gonna make the body of the snail pink with lime green spots on him, and then his antennas will be black. So I'm gonna get all these mica powders on, I'll put you all on time lapse and we'll get going on this snail. Okay, I don't know if y'all could see or not, but I did his face green. And now I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to try not to get my hands on any of the um, colors. Oh, and that's easy to flip back over because it's so heavy. So I'm going to get all this cleaned up for where I flipped it. If this is kind of hard to do. Okay, I see it down in there. I'm gonna get a Q-tip for that. <clears throat> my Q-tip, my Q-tip has alcohol on it, by the way. There we go. That's good. Okay, now around this edge, I'm just going to put some uh, some of this green powder that I used for his face. I'm going to put that in some UV resin, and I'm just going to put little dots uh, along the edge there. And then I'll put everything else in pink. So I'll put you on time lapse for that. Okay, y'all, I got all the dots done, and you're going to see them all through on the back of his neck and everywhere. So, now I'm going to put this pink, and I'm afraid I might lose some of the green dots when I put this on. So, I'm going to try to be uh, use as light as touch as possible and kind of just pat instead of rubbing it on. And I know it's going over top of those green dots, but you should still be able to see them green on the other side. And I'm not worried about where anything falls, just using a real, real light touch. And I'm not worried about where anywhere that it falls because my other colors are already done and I planned it that way. So I feel like I'm learning a little bit, maybe, but I'm not going to sit here and let, make you sit here and watch this. Um, I'm going to put you on time lapse. All right, y'all, I mix, I don't have, have any idea how much uh, resin this snail will take, but I mixed up 12 ounces and I colored it black. I put a dip of glue, a dollop of glue in there, just one little drop, and we're ready to pour. 
I'm going to stop once I get to the antennas and I'm going to kind of squeeze the antennas so that if there's any bubbles, they'll come up. And I think I'm going to, I hate to put alcohol in. I'm not going to spray it. I was going to stop and put alcohol in it, but I'm not going to because I'm afraid it might take off some of the powder that I have on it. So I'm just going to pour it slow. And let's just hope for no bubbles. Cross your fingers. I have high hopes for this one. I think it's going to be cute. Sorry, I'm just taking my time. Fast forward if you like. Okay, I just saw it go into the antennas. So I'm just gonna kind of squeeze them and make sure that there's no bubbles. I don't see anything coming up. And I hope I'm not creating them by squeezing it. And now I'm just going to continue on. I can see the mica powder's floating, but I don't care. This may hold more than 12 ounces, y'all. Goodness gracious. I might have to mix up more resin. Goodness gracious. That was 12 right there. And y'all, I just finished. This was the end of a, a whole bottle. I hope that my resin is right. Let me, I'm going to check on that. Because I just finished this. I had a two-gallon container. And I just finished the whole thing when I poured this up and I threw the jugs away. So I'm gonna dig them out and see what kind it is and make sure that my next is the same. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, this is the same brand, but I believe it's a different formula because the bottles say different things. So, I went ahead and I mixed up four more ounces, but what I should have done probably is let this cure and then finish pouring it. But I didn't think of that until after I already had the resin poured. So, at this point, I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm going to put that in there. It's a couple of squirts of alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there and just hope for the best, y'all. I'm going to go real slow. I did not put a drop of glue in this one. So I don't even know what's going to happen, y'all. Alright, there we are. I'm going to use the rest of this to pour a Christmas ornament, but I'll do that off camera. We'll see it demolding. Unmolding, demolding, however you want to say it. Hey y'all, we're ready to demold this snail. Um, did y'all know that there are over 60,000 species of snails? And the sna a snail can live in the wild three to seven years. And in captivity, they can live up to 25 years. So be careful if y'all ever want to get a pet snail. They can also sleep up to three years. I Sometimes I can't even sleep eight hours. And their little mouths... 
they're about the size of a pen, but they they can have up to 20,000 teeth, depending on the species. I'm gonna have to push this up against me to demold it tack on. Oh, you all, this is adorable. Oh, I hope I don't break those antennas off. Oh my goodness. Okay, get zip over those. Oh my goodness, y'all. He's cute. Or she, whatever, huh? You can tell there's a little bit of where I touched the mold there. But he's cute. That was a big mold. I forgot how much resin he used. I didn't write it down. I didn't write it down or nothing. But he's cute. Oh goodness. I wish I'd have done the head pink. And I was going to go with the horns and everything black, but I spelt uh, the powder down there. So there's no way to get it out the way that it was. So he's cute. He don't have any eyes. <laughs> I'll get some pictures. And as always, y'all, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next video.